As a general election fast approaches in Gibraltar, the Chamber of Commerce annual report wades into contentious political territory and comes down firmly on the side of the Chief Minister. He warrants our continued support, it concludes, adding a lot has been done in the last eight years which should give ministers a warm sense of achievement. This while the opposition, it says, cries foul at whatever decision the government takes, especially on all Brexit negotiations. The report says if the tax treaty agreed between London, Madrid and Gibraltar leads to whitelisting, then it will be a milestone in relations with our neighbour, adding it comes at a cost, but Gibraltar should embrace the opportunities provided. However, the Chamber speculates as to whether it will serve Gibraltar's interests to be included in a future customs agreement. In respect of domestic issues, meanwhile, the Chamber is more critical. On the economy, despite continuing inward investment, the report warns that increased use of borrowing by government-owned companies could become an issue should there be a shortfall in the income generated by these companies to fund and repay the money they have borrowed. The Chamber says it agrees with Sir Joe Bossano in that the continued growth of the public sector is not sustainable financially nor defensible socially. On business, it says civil servants got better hours but improved efficiency in many government departments remain a distant wish. The Chamber urges the government to be more restrained in the burden of costs imposed. While on the roads, it claims residential parking has made it difficult for businesses to carry out deliveries. Of financial services, the report states that although business licensing has been simplified, growth of traditional financial areas has been muted, whereas DLT has seen significant progress. However, it is shipping and bunkering that raises perhaps the most concern in the report, with figures in both sectors showing a decline, and with the continued uncertainty over Brexit, says it's worth considering just what contingencies are in place at the port. In respect of tourism, the Chamber says we need to be able to transport large numbers of visitors quickly and efficiently around the rock. And on the commercial property market, says a truly transparent rental system or an index of rents for all commercial premises would be helpful. The report says the government's input-output study was last updated in 2000, but says it's both a useful and a necessary tool for the government to use in long-term economic planning. With the changes which Brexit may bring, the Chamber suggests that now would be an opportune time to undertake a new study with a new updated model so that the government and business can put in place the new economic framework for Gibraltar which Brexit will inevitably bring about.